Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be comparing the newest Samsung One UI 2.5 to Samsung One UI 2.1 and 2.0. So right here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. I'm going to go into the settings real quick. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to go into my About Phone, and then I'm going to go into my Software Information. As you can see, this one is running One UI 2.1 with Android 10, and 2.1 is pretty much almost the same as 2.0. Now, this one here is a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G that has the latest One UI 2.5. So if I go into my about phone and if I go into my software information you can see we have One UI version 2.5 with Android 10. So in this video we're going to do a full top to down comparison to see if something has in fact changed or or people that do have One UI 2.1 should rest assured that there's nothing major going on with the One UI 2.5. Let's dive in. So first, let's pinch the screen, okay? Let's tap on the home screen settings. And as you can see, everything over here is basically exactly the same, okay? We don't have any new options in the home screen settings. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that the versions are different. So this one here is uh, One UI Home version 11.5, that's 11.2 but there's nothing actually different. Now there might be some under the hood code changes that make it a little bit more smoother, but beyond that, as far as features are concerned, nothing new is happening, it's all the same. So let's go back out, now let's look at the actual uh, control panel. Now let's pull the uh, control panel out and see if there's anything going on over there. I'm gonna swipe this down, I'm gonna swipe this down, same look, same feel, everything is in the same exact spot. As you can see, nothing new. We do have this media devices at the bottom, which is something enabled here as well, but nothing new in the quick toggles as well. We have the quick share option here. We have the quick share option right there. There's nothing on the One UI 2.5 that's not over here. If I tap here, tap, tap, same exact thing. Okay, so nothing to worry about with the quick panel. Now let's go to the settings, see if anything is happening right there. Okay, again, we're going to go from top to bottom so you guys can see everything. So let's go to connections. Okay, same exact thing. Just pause the video and look at all these options. They're all the same. Now here you'll see mobile networks. Here you're not going to see it because I haven't put a SIM card into this phone yet. So that's not a big deal. Let's go back, go to sounds and vibration. Okay. Same exact thing again. If I go into my ringtones, okay, there's no new ringtones. Everything is gonna be the same. There we go, okay? Silent, silent, atomic bell, atomic bell, it's all the same. Let's go back, all right? Notifications, let's see if there's any new features. Nope, exactly the same. Let's go back out. Now display, we're gonna have a little difference here. Here we have the motion smoothness option. That's because it's an S20 Ultra. It's got 120 hertz refresh rate. The Z Flip does not have 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, but other than that, we have brightness, adaptive brightness, adaptive brightness, brightness. Now we do have a cover screen brightness. That is the exterior screen of the Z Flip that this phone doesn't have. So again, that's not a new feature of One UI 2.5. That's simply a Z Flip feature. So as you go down, you'll notice that everything is the same. Everything, okay? Uh, let's go like that. Blue light, screen mode, font, screen, full screen apps, the screen timeout, the home screen settings we already looked at, and then we have the edge screen. Now, we might have some new stuff here. Let's see if anything has changed. Well, let's go to edge lighting notifications. Do we have anything new? Lighting style, style. So it looks like here we have same thing, okay, now here I have a couple extra, and that's because I have an application installed that gives that to me, but other than that, it's all the same options as you can see. So let's go back out here as well. Uh, one more thing I'm gonna look at, about, if you tap on about and about, you'll notice the differences in the versions, because again, yes, this is a new version, but we don't have any new features, probably only under the hood enhancements. All right, let's go back. Let's see what else we have over here. So navigation bar is very important. So same customization features, same exact customization features. We can go to full screen gestures, as you can see, or we can go to uh, navigation buttons. It's all up to us. Let's go back. 
accidental touch protection, touch sensitivity, everything is the same, okay? So far, uh, we're equal. Let's go to settings. Let's go down a little bit. Wallpapers, same stuff, same icons, same menu options, same setting options, no big deal. We can skip the themes, we can go to lock screen, anything new, it's all the same stuff as you can see, okay, there we, the only reason I'm seeing this setting here is because I haven't enabled any security here. If I enable pin number, this is gonna pop up, always on display is the same, let's see if it's all the same, all the same, all right, so all these features I'm gonna look at, I'm looking at with you guys for the first time, just in case you're interested, uh, again, let's go down a little bit, we have this face widgets options, which allows you to put some widgets on the actual lock screen. We have the same exact uh, face widgets for the lock screen also. If I tap on about lock screen, again, it's going to be a little bit new, not too much, but that's we, we know why that is, not a big deal. Okay, so everything else is the same. Nothing new on the lock screen settings. Uh, if we go down to biometrics and security, all the same options as you can see from top to bottom. Now, Find My Mobile has switched from here, from the top, to the bottom, okay? And there's a little uh, separation over here. So it says security, then there's a separation, and Find My Mobile, here it's on the top. So that's one little difference, but beyond that... Uh, you can see that we have a little bit more separation here. So the blockchain is all by itself. Here it is bundled with all the other features. And then we have these features here, install unknown apps and other security settings bundled at the bottom. Here we have them here and here. So there's looks like there's some visual changes, okay? They're thinking about these things and regrouping certain things. And then let's go over to privacy settings. If I tap here, privacy, privacy. Same thing, nothing new. Now here, it says Samsung Privacy. Here it says Samsung Privacy Website. That's all I'm seeing, okay? If I go down, ads, ads, all that stuff is the same. Let's go to Advanced. So Location Settings is gonna be the same, most likely. App Permissions, Accuracy, and all the other stuff is the same. Now let's go back to the Digital Wellbeing, okay? So I'm gonna tap on this. Now this one is already set up, so I'm gonna tap here. Again, same thing, nothing new. Your goals, your goals. Oops. Uh, we got the focus mode, focus mode, all. This is good. Now here we seem to have a volume monitor that I'm not seeing here. Maybe they took it off based on some lacking feature. Okay, that's the only difference. But again, this is 2.1, that's 2.5. So let's go to device care. Okay, and this is all the same. Nothing is changed. That's great. Tap this, this. Let's look at the options. Same options, beautiful, nothing new, all right? Now this should make people that have One UI 2.1 happy because looks like 2.5 is nothing special. The big thing is gonna be One UI 3.0, okay? Let's look at this also, same exact thing. Advanced, advanced, let's wait for it. Same options, all right? So let's go back out to the settings. Let's go down again, then we have the apps. It's gonna be the same, obviously, okay, based on the apps that were installed. Tap that, kill Bixby. Both of them do have Bixby also. General management, same stuff, all right, and then accessibility, same exact stuff as you can see. Nothing new going on, all right? Let's go back, then software updates, same stuff. All right, so I think that's enough uh, to show you guys uh, that One UI 2.5 and 2.1 and also 2.0 are not that different. If I were to launch the camera application, it's the same. Single take, single take, photo, photo. Look at the top, it's all the same. If I go into the settings, uh, it's gonna be all the same. Scene optimizer, shot suggestions, all the same stuff, nothing new. All right, let's go back out. If I tap on folders, let's see if there's any new folder options. If I tap on colors, same situation. All right, so that was a uh, in-depth, I guess, comparison between 2.5 and 2.1. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. Now, if you have noticed something I haven't, also drop a comment down below and let me know. But from what I can see, nothing new is happening.
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.